Hi guys, I'm Shlomik from Job Test Prep, and in this video we're going to talk about mechanical aptitude tests, what they are, what kinds of questions you should expect, and how to maximize your chances of success. Mechanical aptitude tests assess your ability to understand and apply mechanical and electrical concepts. These tests are therefore conducted to people applying to technical positions, like mechanics, technical sales representatives, and apprentices. So you're about to go through a mechanical test. What should you expect? Unless you've been told specifically otherwise before, most chances are that the bulk of the test will deal with classical mechanics, with only about five or six questions about electricity. Let's break down the subtopics of these two categories. Classical mechanics questions generally deal with 10 subtopics. Force and torque is probably the most common subject of all. It deals mostly with levers, structures, and work-related scenarios, like turning a screw or lifting a hammer. Velocity questions deal with things like acceleration, rotation, and gravity. You might be asked things like, which car should drive faster to compete, or which ball will hit the ground first. Fluid mechanics questions deal with everything that has to do with fluids. That includes liquids and gas. Where is the water pressure higher? Will the load sink or float? Will gas expand or contract when heated? All of these questions can appear in this section. Gears questions will present you with a combination of gears and racks, and will normally ask things like, in which direction does gear X rotate, or which gear rotates faster? In wheels questions, you will normally need to understand the relationship between things like wheel size and speed, angular and linear velocity, etc. Pulley questions will present you with two or more pulley systems, and will normally ask which pulley requires more force to lift the load. Optics, acoustics, and thermodynamics are three small subtopics that will usually also cover around five to six questions combined. They deal with light, sound, and heat, respectively. Electricity is usually the smaller part of the test. It includes three main subtopics. Concepts are questions that deal with the theoretical basics of electricity, such as measurement units and Ohm's law. Basic electric circuits will usually show an electric circle and ask you whether the circuit, or certain parts of it, is closed or open. Series and parallel circuits questions also deal with circuits, but are more advanced. They will normally depict more complex circuits and will ask you to analyze them based on the principles of voltage and resistance. To succeed in mechanical aptitude tests, mere practice and memorization are not enough. The possible variations of questions are infinite, so no matter how many questions you've seen, the chances that you will come across the exact same questions on your test are very low. However, this infinite number of questions is based on a rather small number of physical principles. Learning these principles is what will eventually get you to solve these never-seen-before questions. It might sound a bit far-fetched, so let's try to make this point clear with an example taken from an actual mechanical aptitude test. One baseball, one steel ball. Which ball will hit the ground first? The answer to this question is that both balls will hit the floor at the exact same moment. The physical principle behind this is that free-falling speed does not depend on the mass of the element, and each object falls at the exact same speed. Now look at this variation of the same principle. The red ball is dropped from the table, whereas the blue ball is pushed forcefully. Which ball will hit the ground first now? That seems like a completely different question, right? Unlike the previous question, both balls have the same weight, but different trajectories. However, the physical principle about free-falling remains the same. The falling speed of both balls is constant. It is true that horizontally, the blue ball is moving faster, and that's why it will land farther from the table. But vertically, they are both falling at the exact same speed. So the answer doesn't change. Developing solving techniques is another essential rule for success. The structure and topics of mechanical aptitude tests enable you to use various solving techniques to solve questions better and faster. Two of the most important such techniques are going to the extremes and ignoring real-world minutia. To learn more about how to use these techniques, take a look at Job Test Prep's complete guide for mechanical aptitude tests, as well as the preparation pack. There are numerous mechanical aptitude tests, but the four most common ones are the Bennett, the Wiesen, the Ramsey MAT, and EEI tests. Each of these tests is a bit different in terms of question format, time limit, and scoring. They all, however, include the same topics we've mentioned before and assess the same physical principles. If you know the specific test you will take, 
I highly recommend you to practice the actual test. Job Test Prep offers tailored preparation material for each of them. So, these are the very basics of mechanical aptitude tests. If you want to dig a bit deeper, take a sample mechanical aptitude test, or get more information about a specific exam, make sure to check out our preparation material. That's all friends, I hope you've enjoyed and learned, now it's your turn to practice. See you next time!